Hi, I'm Hong. I work at uh, New York University, uh, Crown Institute of Mathematical Science. I work in harmonic analysis and geometric measure theory. So the topic is about a new strategy to study uh, Stein's restriction conjecture using incidences for tubes. Um, so Stein's restriction conjecture is a conjecture about functions with Fourier transforms supported on the sphere. So this is a conjecture about oscillatory integrals. With my collaborator, Shu Kun Wu, we um, came up with a conjecture on incidences for tubes that would imply this conjecture. And, and we proved the two-dimensional version and has some partial results of three-dimension version. Just to have a sense of what's going on in the field when you listen to talks, and also um, casually in, interact with, with people and talk about mathematics, and sometimes meet new collaborators. In the past few years, uh, there has been some development in uh, projection theory in geometric measure theory. Those developments follow uh, some ge pretty general strategy. First, you work on the problem for a special class of sets, and then try to generalize uh, the theorem for the special class of sets to uh, general sets. Um, so we sort of follow the same strategy. So first of all, we Proof the theorem uh, based on some ideas of Katz and Tau uh, for the, the special class names uh, sticky sets. Our last paper is to generalize the theorem for, for sticky sets to, to general sets. A key ingredient for the last paper follows some uh, idea mostly developed by Pablo Schmerkin. So this idea is that uh, you can find fractal sets or fractal structure for any sets if you look at the set at the suitable scales. This idea was, I first learned it from a paper by Kaletti and Schmerkin, and also later by a paper of Pablo Schmerkin himself. Uh, so this idea is a big turning point for my understanding of the area, like how to find a structure from something very general and might not have structure at all. It's, it concerns about the three-dimensional space that we all live in, uh, because if you change the three-dimensional space that we can feel and touch to, uh, say, three-dimensional complex space, then the statement we proved is false. So to, to really prove um, some statement like the Takeya conjecture in R3, one needs to really understand um, the difference between real numbers and complex numbers. And so far, it's very easy for someone to try to solve the problem using the tools that they're familiar, but those tools might not distinguish real numbers and complex numbers, so, so this makes the approach um, impossible. So the Takeya conjecture is a consequence of Stein's restriction conjecture. And I got interested in Stein's restriction conjecture when I read a paper of uh, Rui Vega, actually, from more than 10 years ago. And that, that was my motivation. Uh, what I find most rewarding of uh, uh, working on problems that might take many years or even decades to, to solve or to not solve, one needs to be honest about themselves. You sometimes spend a long time and then you need to evaluate whether uh, you have made some progress or whether things really get stuck and you might need to move on. So this is not an easy decision for everyone. You cannot be too um, optimistic or not too pessimistic. I think this process is rewarding. And also um, sometimes you spend many years working on a problem you still couldn't solve it, but the intuition and the tools you have developed might be used to study some other problems. <laughs>